Main Street Magic and Fun Company opened in Van Alstein, Texas in 2007. A little farming community just about 20 minutes north of, uh, of McKinney here. But in 2008, a freak storm blew them right off of their foundation practically. The city condemned the building and they had to find a new location. So they were very fortunate to find this place just off the square here in McKinney. They opened in 2008 and we've been going uh, ever since. Well, I started working with a shop in, uh, in Van Alstine. Uh, I'm Doc Grimes. I started doing magic when I was about uh, 9 or 10 years old. I'm 72, just the history of a misspent youth. <laughs> but uh, we were good friends. Jennifer and Chris Gracie who owned the shop, offered me the opportunity to work with them on, as their house magician. I worked with them after they started uh, uh, their uh, programs here in McKinney, Texas, and I've been with them each Saturday since then. What makes Main Street Magic and Fun Company unique, first of all, is, is its location. We're just one block off of the old square in McKinney. The building itself was built in 1874, reconstructed after a fire destroyed it in 1913. So all the furnishes in the shop, including the walls and the ceiling tiles, were uh, date to 1913. So it has a, a rather uh, colorful, if not checkered, and somewhat notorious history, given the fact in 1931 this was a uh, uh, a restaurant, Woods Cafe, and uh, one of the workers in it happened to be the aunt of Clyde Barrow of the infamous uh, Bonnie and Clyde gang. We know that they never uh, robbed the bank on the corner and it's only surmised that because she worked here. But the shop location has been many different things at many different times, but it couldn't have been anything better than the unique Main Street Magic Store. What else makes it unique are the uh, appointments. Uh, given uh, to the shop by uh, Chris and Jennifer Gracie. Um, Chris is a fine carpenter and a uh, utility man who, uh, whose talents are reflected in the theater upstairs and the uh, ticket booth, uh, the fanciful uh, work that they put into the uh, various features of the shop like the Alice in Wonderland uh, potty room. Main Street Magic and Fun Company offers a number of entertainment venues for the uh, uh, local area here. First of all, we have the Magic Theater upstairs. It's called the Magic Attic. And when you take a look at the Magic Attic, you'll see why they call it the Attic. It features a small Victorian-style stage. And from that, we perform both public and private parties. We have a two-hour birthday party, which includes an hour and 15-minute uh, uh, magic show. We float the birthday honoree right there on the, on the stage at the end of it. They get a free bunny to take home with them because every young magician needs a bunny to pull out of a hat, right? We also have the second Saturday shows, uh, which feature uh, various magicians from the North Texas area. All the shops are open until 10 o'clock each second Saturday of every month. We have a family show from 7 o'clock until 8, and then we have our date night out show from 9 to 10 o'clock. We also teach lessons here, and we are a chapter of the Society of Young Magicians. Magic is an art form. It's like learning how to play a classical piano. Um, magic happens in the spectator's mind, uh, through the eyes. Uh, obviously, the magician has to be a skilled performer, uh, and that performance skill evolves over the, uh, over the years that the person is willing to invest in them. That doesn't mean that every magic trick is particularly hard in its technique. The problem is to make it so smooth and the technique so invisible that what the uh, viewer, the spectator, observes is something next to impossible. In fact, with no explanation for it, it must be magic. Uh, my name is Tony Bass. I'm a magic demonstrator here at Main Street Magic and Fun Company. I uh, demonstrate the tricks and sell the tricks to uh, any, anybody that comes in and is interested in learning magic. Uh, I started working here in about the summer of 2015. Uh, I came in one day as a, I, I was a regular customer. I would come in every week on Saturday uh, and I would spend my paycheck here. Uh, and so eventually I just kept coming in and I would I would do magic for the customers and the owner of the shop Chris uh, saw me performing sponge balls 
uh, for a group of people and he really enjoyed it and uh, and that was it. He asked me if I was interested in, in doing demonstrations for the shop and I said absolutely. So that's where it went from there. Hi, my name is Kimberly Baxter. I'm one of the assistant managers and magicians here at our magic shop. I've been working here for going on six years. They hired me on specifically just to run lights and sounds for the show and cater to all the birthday parties as needed. I then started getting into magic and now have become not only part of the birthday parties but a performer as well here during our shows as well as one of the main house magicians downstairs to help you. I love working as a magician. I mean, if you, if you have a job that you love to do, then you never have to work a day in your life. Uh, if you come here and you just enjoy yourself every day, it's not like I have to go do any back-breaking work. Uh, I'm just, I'm doing what I love all day and I'm getting paid for it and it's the most satisfying feeling in the world.